So we were sitting right here, oops, right here. Um, we figured out the mode again because the mo orange bar is the highest. Now what's the main difference between a Pareto chart and a regular bar graph? The Pareto chart goes in order from highest to lowest. Um, there's several advantages to that. I mean, one is, um, I'm gonna, oops, hold on, I'm out of space. I type too much apparently. Hold on. There we go. I was having some pagination issues. Now, um, advantages are several. Um, easy to spot the mode, obviously, because it's the first one in the bar. It's because, excuse me, because it's the first bar. But also, it um, the Pareto chart ranks the other bars, making it really easy to visually see which group is second, third, etc. Right? So when you look at it in this, it's kind of a jumbly mess, right? You know, and when, but when you I mean, it takes you a second to kind of go, okay, he's first, okay, then that one's second, okay, then that one's third, now who's lower than him? This one is, right? Whereas when you're here, it's just do, 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 right? You know exactly who's highest, who's next, who's next, who's next, and you don't need to really think about it, right? It makes it easier to spot, which, right, really easy, much easier to find um, which bar is second, which bar is third, which bar is the least, etc. You don't even need to think, it just kind of is shown to you. All right, so that's the end of Pareto chartness. Now let's talk about the side-by-side -side bar graph. All right, a side-by-side -side bar graph is a special type of bar graph where two or more groups are displayed in the same um, graph but in adjacent bars. So um, in general, we use relative frequencies for these. Not always, but um, most of the time, you'll use relative frequencies because different sample, sample or population sizes make comparison of frequencies difficult or misleading. So, for example, I already made this and I'm going to show you how to make it, but I want to go over it. I found these colors for peanuts, right? So I opened up a, a bag of peanuts. I had no blue ones in that bag, two brown ones, four green ones, eight orange ones, and so on. And then I found the total, and then I found the relative frequency from there, okay? Right? Peanuts. Let me copy, because I know I'm going to need to, Control C. So I highlighted that data. I'm going to go to Excel, and I'm just going to put it in up here somewhere just for my own benefit. So I have it. Okay, so this is the peanut frequency. This is the plain frequency for plain M&Ms versus peanut M&Ms. Peanut M&Ms. Okay? Okay, so now, how did I find these values, right? Well, it's, it's not that hard. You just take equals that cell divided by that one. Give that one dollar signs, F8 dollar signs. And then I just drag it down. And away we go. And then I can take this. This should be, oops, sorry. That should be equal to the sum of these there. And so that way when I drag it across, I get one. Just a little quick review of what we already did for frequencies. So this was the plain M&Ms, this was the peanut M&Ms. So there's our distribution, and remind yourself how to make those distributions with Excel. Life is grand. Now we want to make a chart next. We want to make this chart. So we're not going to have time to finish it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to start us off here. So I'm going to take my colors, I'm going to control C, and I'm going to bring them down here, and I'm going to paste. Then I'm going to take my plain frequencies. Actually, I want relative frequencies. So I'm going to take my plain relative frequencies, Control C. And I'm going to go down here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to choose Paste Special. I'm going to pick this number one, two, three. That means it pastes the numbers in, right? But it doesn't paste the formula. See, the formula is all gone. It just writes at 0.166. This is plain M&Ms. And I'm going to do it again. Control, highlight that, Control C, go down here, right click, and you can pick it right there. It's that number one, two, three, or pick Play Special, and you want the values. There they are. 